A selfie is like a self-portrait. You want to capture the best version of yourself, right? And after that, there are so many filters you can choose to help enhance your picture. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enhance your skin without the need of a filter. Let's start with basic skincare. Step one, cleanser. Use a cleanser that works for your skin type. Is it dry, oily, normal, or a combination like myself? Rule of thumb, if you have a dry skin type, use a cream cleanser. And if it's oily, use a gel cleanser. And if you're looking to exfoliate your skin, wash your face with a washcloth to gently scrub away to reveal perfectly polished skin. Ah. Feels good, huh? Step number two, eye cream. And you really just need a pea-sized amount. Use your ring fingers and start patting it on like this. Your ring finger is the most delicate finger. Try not to stretch or tug this area around. Just softly pat the product around your eye area. Step number three, skin serum. A serum is very concentrated. Two pumps is all you need. And apply this all over your face and neck. Think of a serum like a supercharged booster for your skincare routine. Some are made to help reduce aging and acne. Others can brighten and repair the skin. Step number four, moisturizer or lotion. A dime size amount is all you need. And apply this all over your face and neck. After washing your face, that healthy sebum layer is gone. So by using moisturizer, you're recreating that barrier to keep hydration locked in. A lot of moisturizers can prevent water loss. Next up, lip balm. I'm assuming most of you are already using a lip balm. If not, find a lip balm that works well for you. No different from using a moisturizer on your skin, a lip balm will help keep your lips from drying out, locking moisture in. No makeup, all skincare. Get your foundation and brush ready. I'm using here my Love Me For Me foundation in shell number nine, and with my rounded foundation brush, start applying the foundation around the center of your face and forehead first. Cover up any redness and even out your skin. After foundation, if you need to cover up any spots or dark areas, use concealer. Most people have dark circles, so it's not a big deal if people see you with them. But then again, I know people who look better with their dark circles, kind of like a vampire. But if you look more like a zombie, try to reduce them by lightly concealing them. It's not about erasing them, it's about lightening up the dark area. It'll make a huge difference, see? Before we finish the face makeup, you have to seal everything in with powder. You can either use translucent powder or a powder that has coverage like the one I'm using here. Like foundation, start around the center of your face and move out so that in photos, a filter won't be needed to perfect my skin. And right now, if you purchase M's Love Me For Me Powder Compact, you get a matching foundation for free. All right, let's get back to this tutorial. For my brows, if I'm looking for a softer look, I prefer using a brow powder or an eyeshadow that matches your brow color. You wanna make sure you're using an angled eyeliner brush to give you better precision when you're creating your brow shape. I like to draw a line on the bottom of my brows first so that I can see what my brows will look like before filling them in. And from there, just make little strokes to create the illusion of brow hairs. And lightly, brush with a spoolie to soften your brows. Okay, we all know this step, curling the lashes. My lashes are not curly and they grow straight down. So I personally have to curl my lashes to lift them up. However, if you have naturally curly lashes, well, aren't you a lucky ducky? Use a lash lengthening mascara because we want long, clean looking lashes. All right, final step, taking care of your hair. I color my hair a lot. Lately, I've been using leave-in conditioner and hair oils to replenish my hair. So we're done. No filter needed. Good skincare and foundation never hurts, but a smile is all you need. Good luck. Mwah.